Hi everybody, my name is Caroline and in this video I am going to show you how to create a podcast instantly from your WordPress blog posts. Now this video assumes that you already have a WordPress blog. I have actually one or two and I'm going to show you what I've done with my WordPress blog to add a text-to-speech component. This is actually a two-part video. The first part is configuring your WordPress blog for Amazon Polly. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And the second part is going to be how to take your WordPress blog text-to-speech Polly and submit it to various podcasting services such as iTunes and Google Play and Stitcher and hopefully get it approved. And that way your content is in more places than just on your blog. Let's get started creating an instant podcast from my blog post. Disclaimer, I do not work for Amazon. I'm not endorsing Amazon products. I'm just showing you things I've learned for myself. Now, another disclaimer is that I'm going to be using a service from Amazon called Amazon Polly. This is not a free service from Amazon. Now, there is a free tier, and I'll show you that, but I just want to put out the disclaimer that what I'm showing you here could incur costs on your credit card. And I'm not in control of that, sorry. Uh, so most of the things that I try to show on my channel don't incur a cost or I, I try to show stuff that you can kind of do for free or if there is a cost, it's an upfront cost and you know what it is. Ahead of time, there is a possibility that you will get charged by following the instructions on this video. A quick disclaimer there. Step one here, just to show you what I have done so far on my own blog, I've got alexadevgroup.com forward slash blog. This is our blog here and uh, you can scroll through our different blog posts here. I've never really mentioned this on my channel, uh, but anyway, if you're interested in learning about Alexa development, go to alexadevgroup.com and you can read my blog posts there. So we, you know, we talk about API calls, we talk about developing skills, we about writing requirements for skills and how I, you know, really create these skills on Alexa. So let's go to one of my blog posts and it says, welcome to our podcast. And when the blog post loads up, there is now a little player here and you can subscribe here. I'm going to hit play. Welcome to our podcast. I'm pleased to announce that the Alexa Dev Group has launched our podcast. Our podcast is available on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify. And what I'm doing is I have installed a text-to-speech called Amazon Polly, and it is literally just reading our podcast. And let's, see, let's go to the Amazon Polly page here so you can see uh, what it looks like. What Amazon Polly is supposed to do is supposed to turn your text into lifelike speech using deep learning. Ooh, that's really exciting. And if you notice, she kind of takes a breath. She pauses. Um, yeah, you can almost hear her breathe. It's supposed to be just not your typical, you know, robotic sound. It, me personally, I think it is a little bit robotic, but this is where our future is headed. This is where um, AI, artificial intelligence is going and machine learning. From the page awsamazon.com forward slash poly, uh, there are different languages that are available to you and both male and female uh, languages for you. So if you want to preview the languages, you can do so from their homepage. So let's hit Matthew Hello. for a second. Do you speak a foreign language? One language is never enough. Okay, that was Matthew. There's a lot more voices than what you just heard if you are an English speaker, such as I am. You can listen to the voices, and I've queued one up here with Matthew so you can listen to him speak, and this is just like a sample that I created. Hi, I am Matthew with Amazon Polly. I am one of the voices that can read your blog posts. And there is Matthew. Let's try Sally, and I can change it to Sally. Hi, I am Sally with Amazon Polly. I am one of the voices that can read your blog posts. You will consider that as you're going through this process, which voice you want to use for your blog posts. This video is going to be getting us from a WordPress blog to adding this little player here and being able to hit the play button and having Amazon Polly read our podcast to us. Now in next week's episode, I will post how to uh, submit your blog posts to iTunes, to Google Play, to Stitcher, to Spotify. 
This has taken my blog post that was just on my website, alexisevgroup.com, and now I am on four different platforms almost instantaneously. I am going to start with a tutorial called Add Your Voice to Your WordPress Site, and it gives you a step-by-step -step on how to do this, and we're going to, we're going to follow this Mm, for the most part, here we go, is I'm going to start with my other WordPress blog that I haven't done this to. And this is actually, I've created this for the purposes of showing this to you today. So this isn't, this is kind of a copy of one of my other websites-ish. Uh, so bear with me here. I'm going to go to one of my other websites. I've set this up. It doesn't have Amazon Poly yet on it. I'm going to add Amazon Poly to it so that you can see that uh, player with that play button onto this blog post. And this is a uh, page of my blog posts. And this is all my original content here. So let's, let's click on one of my blog posts and you can see the uh, pictures and then, and the text on here. All right. And, and you know, if you know, truth be told, if you have time to just do the podcasts one by one, I recommend doing that. You know, sometimes reading these podcasts, first of all, it is still, you know, kind of a slightly robotic voice. And uh, secondly, a lot of the blog posts when I was, I was, I was looking at doing this project, I am using a lot of pictures and it says, you know, see the picture below or there's a, you know, there's a picture below and it kind of doesn't make sense just as um, just reading it because it doesn't describe for you the picture. You know, that's kind of a, a con in, in doing this. A pro in doing this is, yeah, you're getting your word out there on so many more platforms, number one. And number two, there are a lot of visually impaired people out there who don't want to sit and read and would just love to just have that content uh, fed to them on their phone um, as they're driving to work, as they're getting ready in the morning. Let's start working on this website here. We're going to go to how do we put this WordPress poly onto our, our website? Hit light cell non AWS hosting. Now this is assuming that you have a WordPress website that is not hosted by AWS. Um, if you do have a WordPress website hosted on AWS, you want to go use EC2 or you know, if that's what you're using, I am using a shared uh, server and I'm hosting a WordPress website. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a policy. First thing you need to do is you need to have an account in aws.amazon.com. And if you don't have an account on aws.amazon.com, you will need to create one and you will need a credit card to create an account. Okay, I've already done this, so we're just going to skip right through that right now. And we are going to go back to our tutorial here and we want to create a policy. All right, so let's go into IAM and then we've got policies and we want to create a policy. And instead of doing the visual editor, I'm going to hit JSON and then you want to have the JSON code. Now, what JSON code are we going to use? Hmm. All right, so according to this tutorial, this is the JSON code you're going to use. Um, I tried this. Unfortunately, it did not work for me. Maybe this has been updated. Maybe it does work now, but I actually went to this uh, WordPress.org support ticket where they said that they had a problem using that code and this other code was actually provided. So I'm gonna use this other code that I found on wordpress.org. Now I am going to, in the notes below, in the description field below, I'm going to link to this specific website so you can go and copy this code. So basically, yeah, we've got the code here and then we're gonna review our policy and there it goes. Okay, so the name of our policy, you want to name this, you're going to have to recall this at some point, you want to rename this uh, something that you can remember. So I'm going to call this WordPress Poly. I am uh, going to not, you don't have to give it a description, and I'm going to hit Create Policy. All right, there it is. So I've created WordPress Poly. All right, great. So let's see if we can find it, WordPress Poly. And here it is. There is my policy. Okay, so next step in here is we're going to need to add a user. Okay, let's go over to users and we are going to hit add a user. And so what is this user's name? This is something that we need to be able to remember that how we're going to authenticate on our WordPress website. So I'm going to type in WordPress Poly. Okay, and I'm going to give them uh, an access key. Let's, let's double check to make sure I did this right. Add user 
and I'm going to give them programmatic access. Programmatic access. I'm going to hit next permissions. So what permissions do I want to give them? I'm going to attach existing policies. Click on that and I'm going to type in WordPress poly. Checkbox here and hit tags and that's optional. I'm going to hit review and then I'm going to hit create user. And that is all documented right here on this tutorial page, right? So you've got ex attached existing policies and then you want to choose your policy. You want to create your user and next you want to download your access key. So I'm going to copy my access key ID here. I'm going to show, I'm going to copy that, my secret access key. All right, don't forget that. You can only see it once or you can download a CSV. It also has, you can open, okay, you can download your file as well. Okay, that's another way of getting it so you don't lose it. And then now you want to go into your website. Assuming you have a WordPress website, you need to log into your WordPress website. And here we are, we have logged into our WordPress website here and you want to go into plugins, add new, uh, search for Amazon Poly plugin for WordPress. Okay, so plugins, search plugins, search for a new plugin, Amazon Poly. And here it is, Amazon AI plugin for WordPress. I want to hit install now. And now we can activate our plugin now that we've installed it. It says, I can't connect to AWS. Oh no, okay, let's see if we can fix that now. So it's going to create this Amazon AI right here for you, and I'm gonna hit general. Now I'm adding my access key and secret key that I just created in the previous step, and there it is. And you, so what you wanna see after you finish the step is new S3 bucket created. That is key, that means you know it worked. And I've got my key, my secret, and I'm in the North Virginia region. And this is, this is optional. You can store your uh, audio on S3 or not. Display powered by AWS, this is optional. You, you can say, you know, yeah, you, I am using AWS. And then I'm gonna hit save changes here. All right, excellent. So I've got that done. And then I'm gonna do text to speech. Clicking on that now. And I wanna hit Yes, I want to enable text-to-speech support. Save changes, and here we go, let's see. So sample rate, uh, now I talked about voices at the very beginning of this video here, and now you can see the different voices you can choose from. And these are uh, Welsh English, US English, Indian English, British English, Australian English. Okay, excellent, so this is interesting. So if you want Nicole, to uh, read your blog post, you can. Let's see what Nicole sounds like. This is, I'm going a little off script here, but let's see if we can do English, Australian, and I want Nicole. Let's see what Nicole sounds like. Hi, I am Nicole with Amazon Polly. I am one of the voices that can read your blog posts. <laughs> there it is. So you've got a lot of choices here. I'm gonna choose Sally. I like Sally. And um, I am going to have automated breaths. Keep the speed at 100%. And the player positions before post. You can choose after post, do not show. Player label. Um, post default is going to be Amazon Poly enabled. Um, you can autoplay. I'm going to not choose autoplay. I'm going to add the post title to audio excerpt. All right, let's just save changes. So you do want to enable download audio. That is default. You want to let that happen. I believe that allows you to submit your podcast to other services. So I'm going to keep that going. Here's what I missed in the last round here is called bulk update. So let's go back to my blog post here. So now if I go to this blog post, there is not going to be the player on my blog post. Okay, so nothing happened. You can't actually see the player on my blog post. What do I need to do? I need to hit this button called bulk update. I'm gonna hit bulk update. I'm about to convert nine pieces of content, 68,000 characters, and based on the pricing, this could cost me 27 cents. Now there is a free tier, and hopefully I'm still within the free tier, and I am going to hit bulk update. And this is gonna take a few minutes, and then it is going to convert all of my existing blog posts up until this point to Sally at Amazon Polly. And now I see it is complete, yay. Okay, so now let's go back to our blog post. I'm gonna hit the refresh button. And now by magic, there is now a button here. Retail logo recap, 
2018 Retail Loco Conference featured an all-star lineup of speakers from Foursquare, The Weather Company, Dunkin' Donuts, Coca-Cola. And now it is reading my blog post. That is everything I needed to accomplish for this episode. Next week, we are going to take this, make this into a podcast, and submit it to different podcast providers. Now, I'm going to give you a sneak peek here that we're probably going to hit this podcast button right here in our WordPress site, and that might be uh, key to the first step. Your homework for this week is to go through this process, go through this tutorial, and your second homework assignment is to create your podcast cover image. Now, if you're familiar with podcasting, you know what I'm talking about. Every podcast needs to have a podcast cover art, and you will need to have one in order to move to the next step. That is part of your homework for this week. The requirements for your po podcast cover image is that the minimum size requirement is 1400 by 1400 pixels. And it can be up to 3000 by 3000 pixels. Uh, so you will need to create a cover art for your podcast in order to move on to the next step. I suggest doing that now before next week when I go over how to submit your podcast. The way I created my cover art for my podcast is I went to canva.com and then I typed and then I said I needed a custom size design. So I typed in 3000 by 3000, create a new design. And then I looked at the different templates that they had here and selected a template and then added my information and my picture to it to create my podcast cover art. That is your homework for this week. I will be right back next week and show you how to turn your WordPress blog into a podcast and submit it to the different podcast platforms. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.